Liz here from Chef Wannabe's Life. Today I'm bringing you a haul from Big Lots and Dollar Tree. Just a few things at each store, but I just thought I'd show you. So if you'd like to see what I picked up, come on. All right. So what should we start with? Let's start with Dollar Tree because I have it right here in front of me. So my husband and I were in there together and he... There was just a whole bunch, not a whole bunch, but a, a handful of like cheap little snacks and we decided we would do a video on those. So those have been left out of the haul, but I'll show you what we got. Excuse my appearance. Um, I usually don't apologize for that, but it's like almost 100 degrees outside and we've been running around and my appearance reflects it. So first, I got this little pinwheel. My husband's mother loved pinwheels and whenever we see ladybugs, we always say that it's her. And I call one of my granddaughters my ladybug. And so this just hit home for me. And I needed it for one of my little flower pots. Yay! Next, we finally, finally at this Dollar Tree, we found my husband's joy. His these root beer packets, these sugar-free root beer packets. He loves these. I am not a fan of root beer unless it involves ice cream and a blender, but he loves it. And this just tastes like flat root beer. Mmm. Said nobody ever. And these are my favorite, the Crush Watermelon. Um, if you stick these in a humongous glass of ice water and you put a watermelon and a strawberry in, it's amazing. And then I wanted to try the Berry Blue Jelly Belly. Try and I'm drinking more water, drinking more water. So, I needed to restock my potato and yonki. I've raved about this a million hundred times that the gnocchi from Dollar Tree is my favorite. And like, I know it's not comfort food season, but when we're hungry for something, we make it and I'm getting sort of hungry for my chicken gnocchi soup. Then last but not least is my favorite find from Dollar Tree because it signals to me, oh, this isn't last. Let me give you these first. I have heard this Otoban raved about. I don't know how good it works. This is eucalyptus, not gonna be my favorite, but it's a disinfectant and eliminates odors, um, especially pets, I believe. And I don't think my house stinks in the least, but I don't know what a spritz of this couldn't hurt. And like the bed where their, the bed where their floor sits, the floor where their bed sits, what is wrong with me? On my last video, I talked about how the salt is cheesy. This time the floor sits on the bed. Anyway, I like to, after I vacuum, I like to just spray the floor around where their beds sit as well so that it's nice and fresh. And I, I've been looking for these. You can get them on Amazon, but I decided to get them and try them first. This is what makes my heart happy. Are you ready? And you know, you know where this is going, right? You know, I'm a stupid tear tray person. Squirrel, these little woodland creatures, raccoon, or fox, raccoon, no, fox, and this one, are you ready for it? Look at him! Oh my goodness, a little porcupine. Now, there is a squirrel, and those were the four that were in the collection that I saw at my Dollar Tree. But honestly, he had really big, black, evil eyes that sort of disturbed me. 
so I left him at Dollar Tree. So that is what we got at Dollar Tree. Now let's move on to Big Lots. Okay, so at Big Lots, I got just some essentials that I was out of. I have not been to Big Lot in... I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I was there. So I picked up this pasta, which I buy one or two of these every time I'm there because I don't go very often. It's my husband's favorite. I love it too when we eat pasta. It's Papa Dell and it's just a home style egg noodle, which I can get these. I think these are two something. I can get these at Trader Joe's, only they're just longer and they're like twice the price and a half or a third of the size. So when I just use half of this at a time generally anyway. So I picked those up. I'm going to be honest, I probably have four or five in the pantry right now. I needed bags. And these things, like, I always used to have the price on them. To me, these things are a super, super great deal at the big lot. I also picked up, I'm going to have every single time, I grabbed two. There's only ten tabs in here. <laughs> this is what I do. Finish is my favorite. They are my favorite dishwasher tabs. But I'll even, like, I have some in my extra cleaning stuff. I have, like, three or four bags of the ones from Dollar Tree because I actually really like those as well. But I have a big container that I put my dishwasher tabs in under the sink, and so I just mix them all up and put them in there. So there's 10 of these for $2. I literally saw, like, a two-pack or three-pack at Dollar Tree for, like, well, obviously for $1.25. But, okay, so that's, say, six at best for $2.50. Well, this is 10 for $2. What? Let's take a minute. Let's take a minute and discuss. Why are dishwasher tabs so expensive? And the little door on my thing that holds the powder or liquid or the tab is broken. So I can't do powder or gel or whatever in there. But um, I know from a dishwasher guy who sells them that to just throw the tab in the bottom and it's just as good, maybe if not better. So that's what I do. No biggie. But I have to buy the tabs. So why are they so expensive? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Next, I got these because I actually needed a white one, but I think the pink one is going to work in this. Fine tip Sharpie markers. They were $5.95 for five of them, which I don't feel like is a bad deal at all. Then... extra toothbrushes. I always have extra toothbrushes. My husband is fanatical about changing our toothbrushes out and he only likes Oral-B. So I picked those up and those are only like three something for four dollars and that's all. I needed Dawn dish soap. I have these everywhere in my house. Everywhere. Laundry room, bathroom, kitchen. I use, I squish this or I, you know, squish it. I put some around the sides of my bathtub in my shower and then I put vinegar on my sponge or my brush and that's how I scrub my bathtub. I put it in laundry. I do the dishes. I scrub stuff. I mean, that's what I do. So a big thing of it. All right. This is a childhood memory for me, so I had to pick it up. I, I 97% of the time make my own soup. I don't, I don't do canned soup. It, sodium's outrageous. But when I saw these chicken and stars, let me tell you, this is scientifically proven to cure all that ails you. 
and the test was done on my family as children, or at least me as a child, by my mother. If we were ever sick, if I was ever sick, okay, I can't speak for the other ones. I'm the youngest of 10, so they all say I got special treatment and was spoiled, mostly by them, by the way. And when I was sick, my mom would buy chicken and stars, and that made you healthier much faster than plain old chicken noodle soup. So, scientific. I don't, I like don't even want to open the package because I don't want to use them. And then last, this was just a little splurge because I need one more summer candle. And this is coconut colada. Okay. Coconuts are not my favorite thing to eat. I'll eat it. Whatever. Just not my favorite thing. I don't generally like to eat things that I find in my teeth three days later. But, oh, the smell of coconut. My heart, my heart just jumps for joy. I mean, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how long this burns. Thinking out loud is usually not something that works out for me. Okay, that is it. If you guys could see what's over here, I have like Purge Gate 2022 going on over here, and I am purging. This is part two for this year. And, and I don't know if the things in my closet like procreate, so to speak. Uh, why does stuff end up there after you've cleaned it out, you've donated it, and you've cleared it from your property? But yes, more stuff is in there. I don't know. Anyway, there just, there comes a time. When we hear a certain call, when the world must come together as one. So. That's the weirder side of me. That candle just fell on my toe. My bare toe. Okay, I'm okay. Until we meet again, do not forget to eat good food. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.